Graffiti, Urban Art, Origin and Meaning. Graffiti has existed since ancient times. Graffiti and graffiato are from the Italian word graffiato. In the past, graffiti was made by scratching the walls. Graffiti is writing or drawings that have been scribbled, scratched or sprayed illicitly on a wall or other surface in a public place. Stickers and other adhesives are not considered graffiti. Graffiti range from simple written words to elaborate wall paintings. Connotations. Graffiti has had different connotations throughout the time, both of them with their uses. The ancient graffiti was made with phrases of love declarations, political rhetoric, or simple words. But if we look at the today's graffiti, we will realize that the connotation had changed. Actually, today's graffiti is about messages of social and political ideas and stylized creations. Evolution of graffiti. Graffiti has been evolving and we can notice it in the types. From the tag to the other more stylized types of graffiti, creating as a result the colored style war. Also, it's important to mention that the reason of this is the increasing quantity of grafters and their need to be better than the others. Nowadays, graffiti is made basically with spray paint. The grafters also use markers and paint. Graffiti has had the same meaning in Asia, in China, Mao Zedong used revolutionary slogans and paintings in public places to galvanize the country's communist revolution. Mao holds the record for the longest pieces of graffiti. In Taiwan, the government has made some concession to graffiti artists. The government organized a graffiti contest in Shimeding, a popular shopping district here in Lisbon. In this city, there are few examples of legal graffiti. The government was doing improvements in these buildings. Actually, the improvements were as a result of the damage that the buildings have because of the graffiti. But when the crisis came, the government didn't have enough money to continue, so they made some treats with some famous grafters to continue the improvements, but with artistic graffiti. The United Kingdom. In this country, the graffiti is very penalized. There are many legislations that attack it. In 2003, they create the Anti-Social Behavior Act, that is the latest anti-graffiti legislation. In 2004, there was a campaign calling for zero tolerance. That means that they call the people for banning the sale of aerosol paint to anyone under the age of 16. Some places in the world where graffiti is legal. In several countries, this form of expression is fully permitted because of its artistic value, and there are specific places where artists can develop. Hauser Line, Melbourne, Australia. Hauser Line is one street south of the city where you can find all kinds of designs. Warsaw, Poland. On this street you will find all the space in Tesno, Praga. It is near the train station and the street is the best place to see the most incredible design. Queens, New York, USA. This area is almost entirely covered with graffiti. Taiwanese authorities can be relatively lenient. Here the police intervene only if there are complaints from the owners of the walls or damaged property. History of graffiti in Mexico. Graffiti in Mexico starts in Tijuana, U.S. border, ideal place for cultural exchange being in the Cholos who appropriated this expression with the influence of Chicano Murray. 
However, it is in Guadalajara where Mexican graffiti is more developed, creating old school graffiti artists from Mexico and the birthplace of the first styles of tax and row. Aguascalientes is also a great graffiti scene as it is a city in constant culture change. In Mexico City, graffiti was developed mainly around the capital because of the economic crisis and population movement, taking a major role in these development gangs, with whom there was a first wave of graffiti. In Mexico City, there are many crews. It's common to find graffiti in different parts of the city, from suburban areas to the municipalities. 80% of the crew are in Ecatepec and Netzahualcoyot. There are also areas where the graffiti is allowed by authorities, as the case of Nesa Art Nell. This group is a pioneer of the intervention of public buildings. Nesa Art Nell is formed by young graffiti artists who are young people that have found in graffiti a form of expression and use it as a source of income. Some grafters feel the need to represent themselves by making their territory with pseudonymy. They don't hand a kind of rule and may invent their own, own codes. In the illustration we have the gray grafters colored targeros. Others are the graffiti for hip hop culture. They create murals with bright colors like red, yellow and blue. These murals are made with spray paint and makers, with each represent frustration and dissatisfaction. The crews have a definite organization. The leader decides when and where it's its paint. The leader is the person who has more skillful with spray. There are many studies about the graffiti, art or vandalism. For Irene Reis, graffiti is characterized by speeding, hitting, protesting and transgressing. It's an alternative means of communication. For Javier Ceron, it's a manifestation of urban art, while others demonize and condemn it because of the bad aspect that gives in the cityscape. In the law of Distrito Federal, the Article 26 use an offense against the urban environment and is criminalized under the penal code like visual pollution. Mexico City government authorities have considered an anti-graffiti unit, which considered is as a social phenomenon offering a solution to young graffiters and those affected. In December 2001, Researchers at the UNAM created the first anti-graffiti painting. It cost around 300 or 400 and half per liter. How you can see, graffiti is more than such a disgusting thing. In fact, it seems totally like an art, and like this, it has styles too. But before knowing the proper morphology, we must know that there exist two ways to make graffiti. They are illegal and the legal or authorized. Some styles are made almost always by the illegal way, like the tags, the sticker tags, throw ups, bumps and pieces. And a few of them by the illegal like blockbusters, wild style, murals and sometimes pieces. But what are all these styles? Tags. Tagging is the simple type of graffiti, consisting of the writer's street name in one color. Tags are basically the graffiti writer's signature. If they are associated with a crew, they might also contain the crew's name or initials, are done in spray, paint, markers or pens. If a tag is put off over another writer's tag or piece, it's extremely disrespectful. Sticker tags. The stickers are a quick and easy way to throw up a tag quickly. Graffiti artists like stickers because they can take their time on the in private, then quickly slap them up wherever. Throw up. A throw up is a little more complicated than a tag, usually having two or three colors, but not nearly as elaborate as a piece. Can be done quickly and rapidly 
while still identifying the writer. They are usually done in bubble letters, often in one color with a different color of line. Bumps. Prolific painting or making with ink. Writers will often go on bombing runs or missions in which they attempt to put their name up in as many places as they can within a given night or time period, while bombing is more related to sheer volume rather than type. Pieces. A piece, short for masterpiece, is a graffiti painting, much more complex than a tag and having at least three colors. Pieces are hard to do illegally because of the time and effort. Blockbusters. A blockbuster is used to cover maximum area in a minimal amount of time. Often consisting of large block letters, the blockbuster can be accomplished with paint rollers and two or three colors of paint. Usually, a blockbuster is put up to cover up other work or block other writers. Wild Styles. Wild Style is a particular style of writing that was developed and popularized by graffiti artists in New York City. It's a complicated and extremely stylized form. Wild Style writing features a row spikes, curves, and other elements. Are often in 3D and considered to be one of the most complicated forms of graffiti. Murals are large pieces that are collaborative efforts between a group of writers. There is often a character or theme to the image. Because of their large size and complex nature, are rarely illegally and are usually found in on the wall of some sympathetic property owner. Productions or murals can also be used to advertise a business or product or to commemorate a person or an event.